Uh, you know, it's been a little while since I, like, made a video. When's the, uh, when's that new chapter of Bendy and the Ink Machine coming out, anyway? Oh, shit. Hey, everybody, Soups here, and today we're finally going to be taking a look at all of the Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 5 promotional material and seeing what we can make of it. As of late, I've been really out of the loop on all things Bendy, but with the release of Chapter 5 tomorrow, I think it's finally time I take a look at these teasers and see what I can dissect. Also, sorry if this video seems rushed, I put this together on a crazy time crunch. Between everything I have going on, the entirety of my week has been filled with work, and finding time to get this video together wasn't easy. That being said, unfortunately I won't be able to stream Chapter 5 when it comes out on Friday, but I will stream it on Sunday, so if you want to catch that, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's dive into these teasers. First, let's take a look at the reveal trailer. This trailer has a ton of information to unpack. To start us off, I'd like to draw your attention to the inky writing that is shown as Joey Drew gives his belief speech. It reads, What am I? And then, Not Monsters. All around this text we see inky handprints, all surrounding what looks to be a door. I believe this is the searcher's way of telling us that they are not just monsters. They are trying to show us that they were humans before whatever happened to them. Also, notice how the handprints have four fingers? This is something that is seen a lot in animation, so the fact that these characters only have four fingers enforces the theory that it's the searchers who did this. Moving on to the doorway, it's completely boarded off, and some ink can be seen leaking from under the door. Where have we seen boarded off doorways before? Think back to the end of chapter 1, right before Bendy gives his first jump scare. There have been theories based on a blueprint found in chapter 2 that there is a second ink machine somewhere in the studio. With this being the last installment of the main series, it would only make sense for the second ink machine to be introduced. It's very possible that this could be what's on the other side of that doorway. The next sequence in the teaser shows a boat, and guys, when I first saw this I immediately thought of the roller coaster ride from chapter 4. Maybe they were using the roller coaster as a way to test out the mechanic of Henry riding in something, and now they're taking it to the next level by letting us control the boat. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited to see this thing in action. The final sequence of the trailer was easily the most exciting out of any of it to me. It shows that there will be a sequence in the chapter in which we will fight alongside Allison. When Allison cries out at the end of this part, I think that will be a sound effect that plays if we fail this sequence and have to restart. Aside from that, the only other thing in this chapter that seemed important was the shadow in the back of this scene. I'm not sure what to make of it. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments. Next up, let's take a look at the production announcement. This one didn't have too much on its own, but it adds a bit of context to some of the other teasers. The ink pipe that we see in here is the same as the one with the boat in it from the reveal trailer. As for the dialogue, we can hear Allison asking, Henry, why are you here? And Henry's response, The ink demon has something that we need. I'm going after him. This line is really important because it gives us our goal for the chapter. There's something that we need from the Ink Demon. I'd like to draw your attention to the letters that have been being posted on all of Bendy's official accounts. When put together, they spell, Bendy holds close your way out. This elaborates on the production announcement by telling us that the thing we need from Bendy has to do with us getting to leave the studio. As for what it is, that question is still up in the air. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Finally, let's take a look at those tape recordings that Henry's been leaving for us. The first one sets up for us the situation he's currently in, and fills us in on what's happened since the end of Chapter 4. This is some really important exposition, because without it, we'd be lost at the start of Chapter 5. Henry essentially explains that Allison and Tom have taken him captive. He's being held hostage in a prison cell of some sort. That's all that's really important from the first recording, but I'd like to point out the sound of the door opening. I don't know about you guys, but I think that sounds really cool. The next recording gives us a little more insight into Henry's situation. One small yet crucial detail is that he I heard my captors arguing today. This shows that Allison and Tom are having some sort of disagreement. I'll get into why that's so important later on. In this clip he also talks about how much he misses Boris's company, and I think that's really sweet. Times like this I wish Boris was still with me. He didn't say much Boris, but he was a good friend to have. In the last recording, Henry talks about how his captors wouldn't be happy if they found out about his tapes. This may be my last chance to record a message. I'm pretty sure he saw me talking into this thing. He probably won't let me keep it. He probably wouldn't let me keep it. 
This implies that Tom is the only one who would have a problem with it. I'd like to remind you that in the previous recording, Allison and Tom were said to be arguing. Is it possible that Allison was sympathizing with Henry and didn't want to keep him captive? I think so. In fact, my guess is that the fighting scene we have with Allison shown in the reveal trailer is actually her helping us escape from our cell. In addition to this, Henry mentions Linda again. Before hearing this tape, I didn't know who Linda even was, and I'm sure many of you didn't either. She was only mentioned one other time, briefly, in an audio log from Chapter 3. I haven't seen Linda for days now. This newer clip makes me think that Linda is Henry's wife, as he says, Linda, I miss you, and I love you so much. And that's pretty much it. I'd like to remind you all that the Meatly himself has confirmed that Chapter 5 is not the end of Bendy, and that further development will be under the Joey Drew Studios name. I'd also like to give a shout out to the developers, they really do work incredibly hard to get these games out as fast as they do, and at such high quality. It's honestly mind-blowing and inspirational to see how much time and effort they put into their craft, and I wish them the best of luck with this next release and on their future projects. That's going to be it for this video. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, and if there's anything you want to add, or if you interpreted these teasers differently than I did, let me know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the stream on Sunday, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!